Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I got this new spinner, this new cake spinner. It is so awesome. It's metal, it's pretty heavy duty, hardcore, and it spins so smoothly and it just keeps going. So you can see it's still going. So I got it from Amazon, it's a little more expensive than my plastic one. Um, and I still love the plastic one, but I think this is just gonna be exciting, a fun upgrade. And I'm going to be using this Fredericks Convexo canvas. These are awesome because they roll all the way around the side. So instead of having that strange wall on the top, like most round canvases do, it goes all the way around the side. And it's quite a thick canvas. So I'm actually gonna be setting it right on here because this is obviously bigger than the, the spinner and I feel pretty confident about that. I do want to put just a couple pieces of double-sided sticky tape down here just so it doesn't move around. And hopefully that works just fine. We will find out. I feel fairly confident in that. And what we're going to be doing is a bottle bottom pour. So for anyone who doesn't know, this is a plastic product that I make and it mimics the bottom of a soda bottle, basically. And I sell them in sets of three, a small, medium, and large. This is the medium one, which is a three inch base down here. And we're gonna be using a variety of blues. I need about 12 ounces to cover this canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with white. All the colors I'm using, all the paints are uh, mixed media girl pouring paints. And then I'm gonna use some Malibu Sky, some Turquoise, and I'm gonna do something I don't normally do and use some silver in this as well. I've got Caribbean Teal here. Let's go with a little more white. And let's put that silver in. You've watched my channel before, you know that gold is really my color. <laughs> so using silver for me is a little interesting. And I'm gonna use some deep sea for contrast, sapphire blue, and then just some primary blue. And I'll go ahead and continue layering these colors just a little bit until I have enough paint in my cup. Okay, I've got my cup filled up and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour right in the middle here of the bottle bottom. And you'll see it'll start to come out the sides there like a flower design. Try to pour evenly. If you notice it coming out a little more on one side, just go ahead and pour on other sides. But don't overcomplicate it. You can also just pour right in the middle. You don't even have to do any kind of tree ring or anything but I usually like to. It changes the design up a little bit. And the different sizes of bottle bottoms can either be used for different size canvases, like the bigger bottle bottom for a bigger canvas, or even just uh, to create different patterns. The smallest bottle bottom will give you the uh, lines that are the closest together and the larger bottle bottoms, uh, the lines will be a little bit further apart. So it's just gonna give you a bit of a different pattern. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for a little bit and just kind of let it finish draining down and then we'll do the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully lift this up and then I like to let it close up the hole there. You don't have to, that's just my personal preference. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a stick and I'm going to do a line through each of these kind of petals and that just makes the design that I like the best. And I think with all these blues we'll kind of end up with a cross between a snowflake and a tropical flower of some sort. 
I usually put blue and green in this together, but I'm just doing blues and then the silver, so I'm kind of excited. All right, now we go ahead and spin. <laughs> this thing is so smooth, I might just need to spin it once. And the round canvas and everything, that is awesome. It's just gonna keep going. seems to be very slowly filling up that hole in the middle while we're at it, which is good. I definitely wish I'd put more white in this, but that's okay. It is gorgeous. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna let this just sit for just a little bit um, and they'll finish filling up that hole there and then I will bring you guys in for a close-up. Okay, let's bring it in for a close-up. I am totally in love with this. And I actually love the silver in there. I think it just gives it this awesome sparkle that really goes with it. And I really, really love this canvas how it rolls around the side there. Look at that, just so beautiful. Continuation of the design. So hopefully the people that were requesting this specific technique to be done in blues are happy with this. I definitely know I am. It is gorgeous. And if you would like to see me do this technique with any other colors, let me know. Also, totally in love with this spinner. Pick yours up on Amazon if you're interested. It is fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.